Yeah, I said I love my life, I love to live. I don't know what day it is. I'm doing things I'm passionate about, and I just. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm with my friend Martin from Martin Time TV. I'll put his link down in the description. Make sure to check out his channel. Um, today, what we're doing is a Chicago style mukbang. One deep dish pizza, one Italian beef sandwich, because Chicago is known for uh, deep dish pizza, beef sandwiches, and Chicago style hot dogs. So, I think we're gonna get a pizza from Luminati's. We're gonna get the beef sandwich from uh, Bubbles, this local spot. I don't think it's a chain, so we're gonna get one from there. And we're gonna get a Chicago style hot dog from the famous Gene and Jude because I, I live pretty much right next to it. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Do you have anything else to add, Martin? I think that's a good plan, actually. Definitely great places, legendary staples, institutions of Chicago. What more can you ask for? Yeah. All right, so we'll see you guys soon when we get the stuff. So I'm a timber anime when I say that I love the shit and you can't get enough of it. So come with me and take a trip. The sentiment I'm trying to get across is what I want to take my losses. So get back up on the horses. Racetrack, eight track, ain't that often said you got this. Yeah, oh yeah, you got this. First you dream it, then you speak it, cross it up for y'all. Let's on it, on it. I feel like I could fly. All right, guys, we got the goodies. So let's go get the other stuff. I feel like I could fly. Feel like I could fly. Thousand reasons why. We're here at our second location. We're here at Bubbles to get our Italian beef. Thousand reasons why. I'm feeling good right now. I'm good right now. I it is not like I could fly. Never put the reasons why. I'm feeling good right now. I'm good right now. Don't ever give up. So we just got to our third and final location for the deep dish pizza, probably the main part of the mukbang. We're here, we're about to go pick it up. We did order it online and we're about half an hour late. Let's see if they keep it warm and see what happens. We're back. We got ourselves a mukbang. Is that what we're doing now? Is that, is that what this channel has turned to? It's like you're gonna try a mukbang? We're about to do a Chicago style mukbang. We have a deep dish pizza, a Italian beef sandwich with peppers, cheese, hot peppers, I think I believe they put on there. Sweet peppers. Sweet peppers. And we also got hot dogs from Gene and Jude's. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap mine. I had these hot dogs before and I do think they're overhyped. Starting with hot dog? Yeah, hot dog cheers? I'm gonna start with the hot dog Me as well. Too. Let me grab it. There's a there's a few fries in it. I think that's acceptable. Yep. Hot dog cheers. All right. Cheers. Cheers, cheers guys. Mmm. Mmm. The pop. The snap. The pop snap. It's pretty good. Chicago style beer. It's not Chicago style beer, but it is brewed. Is it brewed in Chicago? Twenty minutes away from us. Twenty minutes away from here, they brew. It doesn't get fresh in This now. beer called Revolution Brewing. I've been to the brew the tap room many times in Logan Square. 15 minutes away. And you've been there many times with me as well. It's a nice aesthetic over there. It's like all wooden and shit. Yes. It's a great place. It's, it's a great very place. good place. Let's try these fries. I mean, they choke up the flavor, okay? They yeah. choke up from the hot dog. So and dude, they're mustard. I don't know why. But I'm such a big fan of it. Gin and juice mustard? Yeah, it's pretty good. It has a flavor. Yeah, flip that so yeah. then I can see my dumb ass. Okay. Have a random, you know, window so that you don't have to look at a wall because we're not in a jail. <laughs> we're not in the jail cell. <laughs> Overall, it worked so well. Mm -hmm. I think this is my favorite hot dog. The snap of the sausage, or the hot dog, whatever you want to call it, it's just like amazing. Like, 10 out of 10. No, no, you can't, you can't do 10 out of 10. We give it a 10 out of no, 10. You can't do like, that. What happens if you fucking come across a better hot dog? Yeah. 
What are you gonna give it an 11 out of 10? Right. And then it just goes from there. It just, the whole process is Right, up. exactly. It's a whole like fuckery. Like a whole mind fuck. Cheers, by the way. Cheers. Well, thank you so much for this food. It's incredible. Yeah, this is a mukbang. It's good. Do you know what a mukbang is? Well, in my eyes, in my vision, a mukbang is just like you get together, like whether it's one person, whether it's a group of people. Yeah. You talk, you stuff your face. But where did it come like the word mukbang? What is the, I, I don't I don't understand what it is. Japan, right? Korea, I think. Korea? South Korea, I think. I don't know. That's why I wanted to look it up. Let's see what a mukbang is. So I typed in muk and the first thing that comes up here is Mukfest Chicago. What? What does that mean? Don't get side trending. I'm going in for a Illuminati's slice Maybe. of their deep pit, uh, deep dish. Go ahead. No, with, no, with the caramelized crust. Oh, and it's still hot. Oh yeah. Oh that looks good. Oh, oh. Yes! Yes! Oh almost. Kind of, kind of, because So mukbang literally means this is what the Google description of it is. It literally means eating broadcast in Korean. Different. And it's a style of live stream where how where hosts binge eat thousands of calories in a single sitting. So I guess that's what we're doing. We're binge eating a thousand plus calories. By the way, I just gotta say that's the, amazing. Addition, the addition of these tomatoes on here. Yeah, at first you were against it, but it's a good choice now, I think. Well, now, yeah, good. Oh, good. It has that the watery feel. The zing. The, the, the juiciness. Yeah. I always don't want to eat the whole slice of this. Good thing you didn't get two of them. Yeah. So guys, we were gonna get two of these. These are massive. They're behemoths. <laughs> I can't. Dude, I, I'll have a hard time eating one of them by myself. So in the other video, you guys seen me try Labriola pizza. I'm, I've been in Chicago for a long time, but usually pizza has just been regular pizza, you know, from Domino's or wherever else. I don't eat too much deep, deep dish pizza. This is at this is the first time for you eating Luminati's and you've been living here for 25 years. 25 years. I've been living here for about uh, 18 years, I would say. So I don't know, but lately I've, I want to try everything that the city has to offer. You know, I've been living here for so long, and and I haven't tried half of the uh -huh. things. You know, what'd you get on here? Let them know. On this pizza, we got pepperoni, we got garlic, butter crust. So apparently that's what they're known for is for their butter crust. I don't know what that means, but I guess they put butter on the crust. Or they mm. infuse the crust with butter? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a pizza expert, you know what I mean? Guys, I'm about to take another bigger bite of this pizza. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So filling. It's not as deep as I thought it would be. I think that's because it's a Small? small maybe so maybe if it's a small it's not that deep you see guys it's almost like a regular pizza it's like two pizzas stacked on top of each other without the extra bread i guess just the toppings alone are a little bit thicker and the bottom piece is like a piece of bread i don't know i like it though because it, it, it's definitely buttery mm -hmm. i could like mm -hmm. a mukbang never did never in my entire life did i actually think that i we never thought i would do one either here we are guys doing a mukbang Okay, nose. so let's let's cut to the fucking chase. So the dog, I I thought about it, I thought about it, I thought about it. I'm gonna give it. I'm thinking eight seven. Yeah, but what's what, okay? What's what would be a? Have you ever had a nine hot dog? So far, no. But I don't want to go to a nine. So so eight seven is the best hot dog you ever had. So far, yeah. Yeah, I would say that's really gin and juice. I would say. I don't eight. know, man. I had better hot dogs. I, I mean, just don't remember where. For instance, what about Home Depot? Even Home Depot has yeah, a Yeah, those, I, 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 I don't... Mm. Such a big fan. Yeah. What? Should we put the bomb on it? No. Hell no, I'm already... I have, like, heartburn over here. <laughs> Alright. I don't know, so I brought a knife over there, so if you want to cut it in half. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to play for, right? So, because I'm gonna... I, I, I'm listening. I ate my pizza, but I'm gonna... You don't want to fill up. Yeah. That thing is filling. Yeah, I, I just want to. I want to try this before I, you know, I'm too full and, and it's like beautiful. whatever. It's a masterpiece. Yeah, guys, did a, they did a really nice job. Oh my god, they saw. Oh god. Oh my god, it's so. Good. And it's staying together. It's not falling apart. Yeah, somehow, right? Oh yes. my god. Look at that. That's amazing. Look, look how it's 
Mm, so Cheers. so good. Cheers, man. All right. Mm. Uh oh, uh oh. Now I see how everything falls. Oh, it's spicy. Yeah, I, I, mm. I told you it's hot peppers. You said it's sweet peppers. Oh, because they also put jardinera. Mm hmm. I told you to put everything on that. Oh my god. They make their own jardinera in house. In house mm. jardinera. They even sell it. Yeah. Oh my god. It is spicy. Sorry, dude. I have stuff coming coming out of my nose. <laughs> the beef tender, right? Mm. So juicy. The bread so soft. Okay. It's not cold. None of the food was cold. How yeah. the hell did we manage to get here with right? all, even the hot dog was warm? Mm -hmm. That's first stop, right? Mm -hmm. People like to like completely dunk it. Yeah, in in that um, mm. the jus. It's called a jus. A J U S. The 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 juice thing, right? Where they cook the beef in, right? Oh. Yeah, people love that shit. It's like dipping cookies into milk. Yes, exactly. I love that correlation. Right. It's a great uh, beef. I'm like, I would go like. I like it. Seven nine. Home Depot had really good Italian beef. I have, have a Jordan beef too. Mm -hmm. I have an idea for a mukbang we should do for your channel. Italian beef, Home Depot shit. Home Depot mukbang. I don't know where you guys are from, but in Chicago, in Home Depot. By the exit, every time you check out the a little booth where they sell hot dogs and they sell, I guess beef. I didn't know they sell beef. They sell, they sell pizza. hot dogs. They sell Polish dogs, and they sell like chips and drinks. Pizza. They do but pizza. They do nachos. They do cheese. pizza as well. Yeah, we should get everything from Home Depot on the menu, and we we should do a mukbang with that. What's your favorite item so far? I mean, do you? I'm not. I'm not. I would say the beef. Italian beef, I, I really enjoyed it. I had oh, hot such dog. a big fan of the hot dog. It looks like trash, but it tastes decent. Just decent? Decent. I'll give it a five. Damn. Wow. I don't know why people like it so much. There's definitely a fucking, it's a good beef, but I think the pizza tops it. The tanginess, the tartness, the savoriness, the cheesiness of it, amazing. Mm. Amazing. Yo, I would mm. eat another slice of pizza, but I'm so far I'll throw up. I won't be able to I know, it. because it's so good, right? I won't be able to toss it. That's an endure. That is an incredible slice of pizza. For a franchise? Come on. Oh. Come on. The, the bread, the crust, the butter crust. The butter crust tops Feels everything. It. I've never had anything like that. I can't believe it's, it exists. We have the Italian beef, you, which yeah. is iconic to Chicago. Then yeah. you have your Chicago style hot dog. No yeah. ketchup. No ketchup on the hot dog. No ketchup because we got a steak. Which I don't know about that. I, th I, I think it, I like ketchup. I like ketchup on things. I mean, no, I, I got it. I used to. When I was like 10 years old or... Yeah, same, same, same. But like now if I get one, like I'm saying like from a gas station, I'll put ketchup on it. You put? Yeah? No, I don't. And last but not least, obviously you have your deep dish Chicago style. Whenever you think of Chicago, you think of deep, deep dish pizza. pizza. That's, 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 that's what Chicago is known for. Right. All right, guys. So thank you for coming on this crazy journey of this Chicago style mukbang. You guys saw us get the food. You saw us eat it. It was fucking delicious. So... I don't know. Stay tuned for the next episode. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Maybe we'll do more mukbangs if you guys like it. Yeah, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the dislike button if you didn't like it. Do whatever you want. I'll see you guys in the next one. This that I go by my anthem, turn it up and throw a tantrum. This that throw up in your Birkin bag, hook up with someone random.